look so cute in your Christmas sweater. This is mom's ugly Christmas sweater she thrifted for me. I wonder if you can, if they can hear you because I have my earbud in. Oh. I told her it looks like a uh, like sweater from the 80s that a mom would wear. Well, that's a cute mom sweater. I don't even know how to take that, Lil. Actually, honestly, just anyone from the 80s. Okay. <laughs> just finished making icing because when mom gets home from town we're gonna decorate gingerbread houses um I eyeballed the recipe but I think it turned out pretty good um I'm not really one to follow recipes or patterns which is one of the reasons why I've never really gone into knitting um and that's not a good reason I know uh I'm just not like typically a pattern follower whenever it comes to like crafty things creative things um anyways it turned out good so it's a plus hey guys i'm lily i am amber's daughter for those who don't know i've been in a few vlogs um but none recently so i just want to introduce myself um i just want to hop on here she doesn't know i'm filming this but to brag about some of the things mom's made for me that i just absolutely adore because she's so talented like, she doesn't know how talented she is. Um, look at this sweater. Oh my goodness. I love this sweater so much. I've been wearing it nonstop. You may have seen it in yesterday's vlog for a second. Um, it has a drop shoulder, and I just think it's, like, the coziest sweater ever. And, you know, the green, it's kind of Christmassy. Um, and then my favorite Christmas socks. Goodness, these are so cute. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, I love, I love them so much. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and show my appreciation because she is so talented and I have probably about 13 pairs of her socks and I love every single one of them, but yeah. <laughs> It is day 14 of Vlogmas, and welcome to this place. Wasn't it so great to see Lily earlier? I ran to town because I had to complete a return by tomorrow, and so I went in today, and while I was gone, she did a, um, some recording, so that was exciting to come back and see what she had recorded. So... Um, I'm in her room now. She's actually cleaning out her closet and I'm here for support because you know how that is when you clean out a closet. It's like it gets worse before it gets better. And um, yeah, so I'm just in here. I brought my knitting. I brought some tea. I'm drinking my Christmas in Paris tea that the lovely Carol gifted me with. And um, by the way, that apple 
apples was it apple cider chai that I had yesterday maple maple cider chai it was really good that was from my mom she brought me up uh, a little baggie full of different Christmassy holiday-ish stash teas so real quick I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking because I need to do some knitting but I want to show you what I got in my advent things Look at that pretty pine color. This is from Brazos Fiberworks. Pine needles is the colorway. And then um, from Annie, I opened a package from Annie today, Knits and Burls. I got this, it's called Christmas Cocoa. Is that what it's called? I'm reading it backwards on my screen. By Woolberry Fire Fiber Co. It's really cool to get these um, these different scraps because like I have never tried Woolberry. I've never bought yarn from Woolberry Fiber Co. Uh, Annie sent me has sent me quite a bit of little line head knits and I've used Colleen's yarn. I've bought it and I've used it quite a bit in the past and I really like her yarn. I love her dyeing style and this is just really beautiful as well. So yes I have that and um, I wound up another little ball of, I think, I forget what the colorway was called today. I'm on my seventh day of my Euphorbia shawl, and I wound that up today, and then I started knitting on it, but I only got two rows in before I got busy with everything today. Um, and then I brought the socks in to work on while I sit in here with Lily. Um, I, don't, I think I showed these to you. I'm not going to get into details, but this going and then Brad sanded me a bunch of these wooden discs that he cut from a tree that fell he cut these for me in the spring no that's a total lie he cut these for me last summer <laughs> so they've dried out and um, he sanded them a couple of nights ago because I do an annual ornament exchange with several friends of mine and um, we were supposed to do it earlier in the month and then so there was someone who couldn't come that and actually it worked out because I wasn't feeling the best either so we all postponed it until December 21st and um, so that gave me more time to get my ornaments done. I would have had them done by now um, except that I didn't feel well. And so I wanted to do it. I'll probably do this tomorrow or maybe even tonight. I'm not sure. Um, I might put a base coat on tonight because I, I do a base coat and then I paint something on top. I've done ornaments before. I don't know. Oh, here, Lily. Do you have, like, you can see little snowflakes here. Um, yeah, I can't really see. So. No, okay. I have, I've shown them out on my Christmas tree. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to have those and then I wanted to say, so after, you know, I was posting while I was sick there for the first of December and a lot of you had said that you, uh, surprisingly, quite a few of you had responded that you also have the sinus problem where you get a head cold and then it takes weeks to recover because you get all the sinus inflammation and stuff. And I wanted to show you this little mask thing I just found my mom actually when we were at dinner at my parents on Sunday my nephew had a headache and my mom keeps a handmade one in her fridge and it really helps my nephew's headache so um, the ne very next day Lily and I were we went for our appointment we stopped at TJ Maxx afterwards and I found these at TJ Maxx so if you are interested, you could probably find one. It's by Brookstone, and it was only $5.99. I bought one for my sister and one for me. This one is infused with cedar. It's not To me, it's not overpowering. It just smells like essential oil, but it's like a relaxing spa type of smell. But it's really nice and, and soft, and then it has the strap. 
But the really nice thing is you can remove the cover and wash it. And it's like some sort of like, I don't know, it's not rice, but it's like the little balls. Not cherry pits either. This is Barbie. Oh, here comes Brad. What the world? Brad, honey. I'm what? trying to talk. <laughs> oh, is that your people? Well, yeah, but I was al literally almost done. I almost made it through. Aw, uh, it's terrible when the husband walks in and interrupts everything. I'm probably going to <laughs> Anyway, they had, this was in the, uh, like, the little section. Actually, it's not a little section. TJ Maxx, for those, I don't know if there is a TJ Maxx. I think that's just an American thing. Although I feel like I've heard British podcasters call it call have a store that they call TK Max or something close to that something Max and I wonder if it's the same thing because I forget who was talking about it a couple of years ago in one of their vlogmas episodes but the way that they were describing it made me think that it was very similar to TJ Maxx but TJ Maxx puts out tables full of just like random gifty type stuff for Christmas and I went to look at those tables because I was looking for a white elephant gift and I found this and I just and the reason I this is on my mind right now is because I literally just laid on the couch for probably 30 minutes with one of these over my sinuses that this is like this is the amber thing you know I'm not actively sick anymore but I am so inflamed all across my face and it's like it triggers facial pain when I get sinus inflammation so but I, this just felt so nice just to lay there with my eyes shut and this on my sinus area. Anyway, that is it. Just wanted to share something. Oh, and another thing. Okay, another question that I've been getting so many people asking is, do I eat my sourdough? Can I tolerate, as a gluten-free person, can I tolerate my sourdough? The answer is absolutely not. I would probably get so deathly sick if I ate my sourdough, which is very unfortunate. I make sourdough as a labor of love for my family. I love baking bread. Unfortunately, I do not love baking gluten-free bread. I have never had luck. I have one recipe that is kind of okay, but most gluten-free breads turn out very dense and I, you don't get the airy, nice, um, springy middle. And so I just don't really bake gluten-free bread. Um, maybe someday I'll try gluten-free sourdough, but it's like a whole nother thing. And I don't really, probably if one of my kids couldn't eat gluten, no, I know that if one of my kids couldn't eat gluten, I would go down that rabbit trail, but just for me to be able to have it, no. Um, so no, sadly I cannot, I can just smell it. Um, but that's about it. I can smell it and look at it but everyone else enjoys it. So just wanted to answer that because I, I feel like I had, I needed to um, explain that a little bit because I, whoa, do, do your lights flicker? No, just, I don't Is my camera making it look like that? That is so weird. Like light, oh my goodness. This whole section just is not showing on my camera. Now it is, but in real life, it's there constantly. That is so, <laughs> it's yeah. so weird. Anyway, all right, friends, I'm going to go. I'm going to, um, we had roasted chicken last night. Oh, somebody, somebody asked me another. Okay, I can't remember. I need to start writing things down. But we had roasted chicken last night, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to, I saved like all the, the bones and stuff like that. I'm going to boil it with the broth for a couple of hours and make some sort of chicken vegetable soup for dinner. So I just remembered I didn't do that. I'm going to get that started. Then I'm going to sit here and I'm going to help Lily sort through her, her closet contents. So uh, thanks for joining me for this little chat. Hope you're having a good day.